And so Nick and Irene, this celebration is an outward token of what you are feeling on the inside for each other. It's a token of your sacred and inward union, a union of hearts, which the church blesses and the state makes legal, but which neither church nor state can create nor know. It is a union created right now by God, by your loving purpose, and it will be kept every day when you wake up and you decide, I'm going to honor our relationship. I'm going to honor our marriage. I'm going to honor our love. And it's going to be kept together by God's grace and His power in your lives. And so it is in His Spirit and for this purpose that you have come here today to be joined together as husband and wife. Nick, if you would repeat after me. From this moment, From this moment I, Nick, I, Nick, take you, Irene, take you, Irene as, my best friend. as my best friend. I pledge to honor, I pledge to honor encourage, encourage, and support you, and support you through, our walk together. through our walk together. When our way becomes difficult, when our way becomes difficult I promise to stand by you, I to stand by you and uplift you, and uplift you so that through our union, so through our union we can accomplish more, we can accomplish more than we could alone. Than we could alone. I promise to work at our love. I promise to work at our love. And always make you, and always make you a priority in my life. A priority in my life. With every beat of my heart. With every beat of my heart. I will love. You. I will love. You. I read if you will repeat after me. From this moment. From this moment. I, I read. I read. Take you, Nick. Take as my best friend for life. As my best friend for life. I pledge to honor. I pledge to honor. Encourage. Encourage. And support you. And support you. Through our walk together. Through our walk together. When our way becomes difficult. When our way becomes difficult. I promise to stand by you. I promise to stand by you. And uplift you. And uplift you. So that through our union. Through our union. We can accomplish more. We can accomplish more. Than we could alone. Then we could alone. I promise to work at our love. I promise to work at our love. And always make you. And always make you. A priority in my life. A priority in my life. With every beat of my heart. With every beat of my heart. I will love you. I will love you. Traditionally, the marking of the passage into the status of husband and wife is marked by the exchange of rings. These rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love that is freely given, that has no beginning and no end, no giver and no receiver. For both of you is the giver of love, and both of you is the receiver of love. And may the rings that you exchange today always remind you of the vows that you have taken. You can have the rings, please. Nick, you're going to go first, and if you would take Irene's hand and repeat after me, with this ring, with this ring I be wed. There we go. It's safe, <laughs> safe and sound. <sad. laughs> Irene, if you would take your hand and repeat after me, with this ring, with this ring I be wed. I don't have to worry about getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and Irene have also chosen to incorporate the lasso ritual into their wedding ceremony today. The lasso is a wedding ritual in which the couple is bound together with a ceremonial rosary. Lassoing is a declaration of intent where the bride and the groom clearly state that they are married of their own free will. Now, has anyone co 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 coerced you to be here today? Are you marrying each other out of your love, <laughs> out of your own free will? Yeah. This ceremony to just officially place the seal of approval upon what you have already been experiencing together. And when I ask each of you what made the other one in your heart, what made you love the other one, you said that he is just so chill and he's re relaxed and you're on level 10. And he's reaching down to about a level, I don't know, nine and a half. And so it's really, really great. And you said kind of the exact opposite. You're just very relaxed and very chill. And what you love about Irene is that she just fills you with passion. Now, initially, I asked them, why do you love each other? And they said, oh, we love sports. <laughs> we do sports on Monday, and we do sports on Tuesday, and we do sports on Wednesday, and we do sports on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And if we're in a good mood, we do sports. 
sports on Sunday too. And I said, that is great. And why do we love each other? <laughs> well, you know, that love, love of sports, love of her passion, love of his laid back, love that has brought you together is what this lasso is all about. That you're here, no one's made you, you haven't been traded for four goats and a cow. You are here together because you love each other. And that's what the last of ceremony is symbolizing. Nick and Irene, since your lives have crossed in this life, you have formed eternal and sacred bonds. And as you enter this state of matrimony, you should strive to make real the ideals and the belief and the love of sports that has brought you together. And, that, and to give God all of the glory for what has happened. And it gives meaning to this ceremony and to the institution of marriage. With full awareness, know that within the lasso that you're fixing to be bound in, that you are not only declaring your intent to be bound together before your family and friends, but you speak that intent of marriage to God Almighty as well. The promises that you have already made and the vows that you have spoken today, and the ties that are bound here greatly strengthen your union and will cross the years and the difficulties in all of the lives soul's growth together as you walk through this door very And so, Nick and I, I mean, I ask you, as you are already doing, to hold each other's hands and to look into each other's eyes. And I'm going to ask you some questions that pertain to the last ceremony. And after each question, and if, if it is your desire, please state, I will. Will you honor and respect one another and seek to never break that honor? Will you share each other's pain and seek to ease it? Will you share the burdens of each other so that your spirits may grow in this union? Will you share each other's laughter and look for the brightness in life and the positive in each other? So having answered these questions, you do declare your intent and the last one may now be presented. Nick and Irene, even as you are symbolically bound together now in the confines of this lasso, it is not a confine of drudgery, but it is a confine of delight and joy. So two your minds and your spirits are now joined together in a union of everlasting love and trust. Above you are the heavens, and below you is the earth. Like the heavens, your love should be limitless and a constant source of light. And like the earth, your love commitment to one another should be a firm foundation upon which to grow. And so shall it be. Nick and Irene have also chosen to participate today in the traditional ceremony of the Abbas coins. Nick will present to Irene 13 gold coins, which stand for Christ and his 12 original apostles. This ceremony was originally a practiced custom in ancient Rome as a symbol of the unquestionable trust and confidence that the bride feels for his group, uh, that the groom feels for her bride, and the total de dedication and prudence that the groom, that the bride feels for her groom. And Nick, as you present these Aras coins to Irene today, you give them to her as a symbol that you place all of your trust in her, but not only your trust, but that you also pledge all, all of your earthly goods into her care and safekeeping. Now, did you realize that that is traditionally what the Adas ceremony means? That you're going to go out and you're going to work and you're going to get the money and then you're going to bring it home to Irene. And you're going to put it in her hands. And you're going to trust her to spend it walks. That's what it means. And Irene, as you accept these Adas coins today, you accept them as a symbol of your complete dedication to using all that Nick will provide to you and your family, that you will use it all as he provides with wisdom and godly stewardship. I may have the presentation of the Adas coins. Nick, as you repeat the following words after me, if it is your wish, please put the Aras coins into Irene's hands. Repeat after me. <laughs> I, Nick, I, Nick, entrust to you these Aras as proof of the care, of the care that I will provide. 
that nothing will be lacking in our home. Nothing will be lacking in our home. And I read, as proof of your acceptance, you can keep things. You don't give them back. That's, that's he's giving you all the them. You don't give them back. That's what the ceremony. That's what the ceremony. Means. Now y'all have to work out the details right there. <laughs> that's, right now, that's what the ceremony means. Could you please repeat these words after me, symbolizing your acceptance? You keep them. Don't give them back. <laughs> I, I read. I agree. Receive these Aras coins. Receive these Aras coins. As proof of the care, as proof of the care that I will give, that I will give, that I will take advantage, that I will take advantage of all that you provide, all that you provide, that I will make a good home for us, that I will make a good home for us. I've never seen a bride that's been so eager to give. Home. <laughs> and so shall it be. We come and take the coins and the lasso. As a more modern symbol of their love. Nick and Irene have also chosen to participate in the Mitchy Sand Ceremony. And what this symbolizes is that up here we have two different colored sand. The pink sand stands for Nick, and the white sand stands for Irene. And it means that coming into this place today, they were two separate people. But after this ceremony takes place, they're going to pour that sand into each other, into, the, into just one single glass that's in the middle. And that symbolizes that as they leave this ceremony today, that their lives are forever joined together. And no matter what may come, no matter how much time they might, we try to take all of those little granules of sand apart. It never can be done because the Bible says what God has joined together, which is what is happening right now, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And that's how they feel about it to the day. They want to be joined together and never separated. of your love. Let that love be refreshed and rehearsed every day of the rest of your life. Give the highest priority to tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration and difficulty or feel, fear try to come against your relationship, as they will threaten your relationship because it threatens all relationships at one time or another, Remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. And remember the secret to success and the most important part of this marriage is God. We can all bow our heads in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come before you right now in a most beautiful setting, and in a beautiful ceremony, in a church that has seen I'm sure countless ceremonies that have stood here for ages and has observed the movings and the goings of people's lives. But right now, God, we're here to focus on Nick and Irene. And as a part of this ceremony, all of the things that have been incorporated into it, we ask that you would just seal them with your spirit, 
you would just seal them with your presence, that you would call them and bring them into the fullness of the destiny that you have placed in their lives, that you would anoint them, that you would set them apart, that you would speak to them, that you would draw them closer to you, that you would bless their marriage, that you would bless the fruitfulness of their home. And as they go out from this place today as one body, one mind, one spirit, that they would go out under your anointing, under your power, under your guidance to take them into the future that you have designed for them. And we ask it all in the lovely name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Inasmuch as you have consented together in this ceremony to live in wedlock and have sealed your vows in the presence of God in this company and by the giving of these rings and these ceremonies, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce by the power vested in me by God and the state of Texas that you are now legally and spiritually husband and wife. Nick? Thank you, Fisher Bright. <laughs> Present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Aaron Brown. 